Alright, 1769. I'm gonna push my luck again. Let's play a Von Popiel Gambit. Oh, I got hit with an England Gambit. What if I transpose it to a Danish Gambit? Oh no! <laughs> He's gambiting even more. What is this? F6. If you take this, then I... What is happening? What? I have no words. I... Is this legit? Like, like if I take it, then he actually has some development. Alright, let's go here. I don't know. I'll just let you take it back. But wait, I, I gotta investigate this. I gotta investigate this. Okay, my other idea was coming around to take the h7 pawn. I, I won't do it. But it was like, rook takes? I got out gambited, it's true. Check. G6, take. Rook G7, queen moves. I should have done that. I should have done it. Oh. He's going to encourage me to do it. Oh, well, I actually stopped A4. I didn't even realize. Um, but I should play like F4, queen D5. Just threaten mate. He has this to guard it. But okay, this is this is very bad for, for, for black. It's a very dubious gambit. All right, I'll do it. Take. Check. And take this. I, it's pro I mean, I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have just keep, kept playing normal normal moves. But okay, after this game, I'm going to check it. D4, E5, takes F6, E4. You're right. I guess there's a lot of ways you can get that transposition. Oh, he's going to trap my queen. This guy's clever. I like this guy. He, he ranged knight there. <laughs> I like this guy. Altoon Zonde. 97. I like your style. The fake Traxler. Knight of 3, take bishop c4, knight of 6, knight g5. And king ends on e4. What? What are we. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna have to check these lines out after. We're going to have to check these lines out. What is this? The white king ends on e4. <laughs> okay, but this was. This was a very interesting opening you played against me. Okay, I feel a little bit, a little bit danger, a little bit of danger if I castle this way. I mean, I have like a knight, but this guy, I don't know. He's scaring me. He's scaring me. I want to run away over here. So stop cutting me off. Okay, we'll just trade queens. All right, twenty-two seconds. Is that enough to win this end game? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Right, he's got to play like d6 and develop his pieces, right? Trade. I mean, he, wait, he never brought this light square bishop out. It's just, it's just been stuck there. He knows how to play crazy, but probably doesn't really know how to play end games. Or else he, he'd be higher. He's putting all his pawns on the same color as his bishop. <laughs> That's the opposite of what you should do. Alright. Okay, still gotta play fast. Still gotta play fast. Speedy, speedy. I'm probably gonna try and flag him. Be ideal. Oh, that's a that's a big fork. No matter what. Ooh. I anticipated that move. There we go. We got him. <laughs> okay. Wait, so we gotta check out the game though. All Toon Zonde 97 pulls out not only an England Gambit, already very based, but I counter with the declining the England Gambit prepared to play a Danish Gambit, right? But he hits me with F6. 
takes night out. So the point is that like if takes, I mean presumably you'll actually take a pawn, and then maybe you get some good solid development here. Like I don't know, you hit e4, and the bishop comes to c5 or b4. Stockfish is this playable? Stockfish says plus one point one. Well, it's plus one point one. That could be a lot worse. So bishop b4, bishop d3, and then maybe a move like d5. This this is very playable. But okay, how would we get here? I mean, there's so many ways, right? So if you face if you face a Danish gambit, you can play f6, <laughs> and maybe your opponent thinks you're a noob and you'll just take it. And there's check, and then you just like take and win the rook, right? But then you, you actually whip out knight c6. Let's check the database here. Okay, a lot of people are just playing knight f3, unfortunately. But we have in the comments someone telling us that this is the fake, the fake Traxler. Where there's d5 in this position? If we play bishop c5 like a Traxler, what happens? Knight f7. Takes, takes, check. King g1 is most common. This is kind of very bush gas esque where there's some mate threats. Okay, king e3, queen h4, g3 is a good move here. Don't take the rook. I think taking the rook, yeah, you get mated. You get mated like this. Um, some wild stuff. Ah, run, 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 run. Check. Mate. <laughs> you get tracked down somewhere. So G3 here. Take. Take. This is, we're, we're like still in theory somehow. Take this. Take this. And then pawn comes up. Okay, but white's up like a rook and a piece. Um, as long as the king's okay, but I guess castles and rook f8 and d4, so black has these other ideas. But it's just, I mean, the engine says white's completely winning. Um, but I don't even know what to call this. So knight c6, taking it, knight takes, but this is completely legitimate. This position is knight c3. Yeah, king king e4. Yeah, the king really can come for a wild ride. So bishop b4. Bishop d3 is what most people... I'm following all the most common lines. And so now d5 is a nice strike in the middle because of queen takes, right? So we hit g2. We have this pin, so we're not losing our queen. I mean, black here has excellent development. So... g4... Oh, wait. Castles. So, okay, we don't lose our queen. There's no more pin, right? Don't lose our queen. But then after just castles along over here... Black is doing excellent. I mean, 85, that's a good pin. This is very good compensation for one pawn. Very, very good compensation. So bishop e3 is the most... I mean, I'm following just the whole most common move train. But here, black's already doing quite, quite well um, with, with you know, a lot of pressure on this pin. I didn't play the line where the king gets to e4. I'm so sorry. Let me try to find it. <laughs> but wait, I just wanted to get a name on this. Oh, the hammer gambit. Kennedy variation, the hammer gambit. We have a name for this. I was going to call it the Altoon Zonde gambit. Okay, wait. So in this position, right, we have we have bishop c5, knight f7. So the Traxler would be like with this pawn here, right? Traxler would be like this pawn is still there. And then white's last move was knight takes f7. But here, there's no pawn. These traded. So bishop f2 takes here, here. How does the king get to e4? How does the king get to e4? Takes. This. Extra pawns is bad for you, yeah. So, okay, takes. Check. If you take it. Mate. All right. Well, we got the king on e4. I hope that's what you wanted. <laughs> so, okay. What a wild line. What a wild line. The hammer gambit, guys. If you, if you or a loved one is challenged with the Danish gambit, you are entitled to play f6. Make your opponent think you're a noob, but actually whip out the hammer gambit 
with knight to c6. Very, very clever. Very, very clever stuff. And if your opponent denies it with knight f3, then you can play the weird Traxler gambit with bishop c5. So, all sorts of fun here. All sorts of fun here everywhere. The hammer gambit. The hammer gambit. What a funny one. What a funny one.